It's summertime and we're here again at Little Otter Swim School and we're talking today about drowning prevention. Drowning is the second leading cause of death among children ages five and under. You know, in the time it takes you to run inside and answer a telephone call, a child could drown. In fact, 75% of children who drown have been out of sight less than five minutes. I'm here now with John Kirk, the owner of Little Otter Swim School, and a big part of what you guys do here is drowning prevention. It sure is. I mean, swimming is a lot of fun, but when you get right down to it, what we're really trying to do is keep kids safe and, and keep them safer around the water. Uh, we belong to an organization called Safer Three, and they have three levels of protection. The first one is safer water. So whenever you go to a pool, be sure to look at the pool and see if you can see the drain. See if you can see all the way to the bottom of the pool, because if you can't see the bottom of the pool, they probably have some problems with their chemistry, and you just don't want to be swimming in that water, and you definitely don't want your children swimming in that water. And as the summer rolls on, you want to do a walk around your neighborhood, right? And check out who has pools and what kind of safety features your neighbors are using. Right, because unfortunately, a lot of the drownings happen within a block or two of your house. So you want to walk around and just make sure that nobody's kind of done something over the spring and not really thought about it. They might have put a dog, dog house up against a fence. They might have cut down a tree and now there's branches that a kid can climb over a fence. We want all pools to be fenced with at least a four foot fence, hopefully a five foot fence. Now the second part of the safety equation is safe for kids. Yeah, and one thing we really try to do with the kids is try to give them confidence in a variety of situations. One thing we'll do at the swim school a couple times a year is we'll let the kids come in and let them jump in with their clothes on because sometimes a kid, they've got their little suit on and they've got their teacher in front of them and they're wearing their pink goggles and they're great but then they fall in the creek with playing with their little buddies and they panic and panic's the worst thing that happen in the water. So something you can do is just kind of expose your kid to a number of different situations while you got them safe. Another thing we do is uh, we like life jackets rather than floaties. Uh, life jacket is something that a kid has to work at to get off. It's floaties they can just slip off real easily and jump in and you think they're safe and in reality they don't have anything on. And then the last thing we try to teach the kids is, is, is throw, don't go. And so if, they're, if somebody's in the water in trouble, then we try to teach them to, uh, to use a noodle that might be on the side to throw at them, uh, use a, uh, a towel that might be on the side of the pool to throw uh, so they can grab, uh, grab on and pull somebody out rather than the kid jumping in and trying to save their little brother or little sister in the water. And of course, around the water, super important for parents to be prepared in the event of an emergency. That's exactly right. If you're the one supervising a pool, you need to make sure that if you've got an eight foot deep pool that you can get to the bottom if you need to get your child off the bottom. I hate to put it that way, but that's what you need to do. If you don't feel comfortable going into the bottom of the deepest part of your pool, don't let the kids swim in the deepest part of the pool. The other thing is know that 911 is what you call. Always have a phone with you when you're near the water and know where you are. So if you need to call the ambulance where you are, don't say I'm at a party. Say I'm at the corner of this street and this street so they can get there and get there quickly. Um, last thing we want to do is we have a water watcher tag that we give some of our parents. And uh, this just means that we have a physical thing that you put on. So if everybody's standing around the pool and you've got 10 adults, Everybody thinks somebody else is watching the kids, so you might have 10 adults and nobody's actually paying attention to the kids. So if somebody's wearing this and they go inside to get another pitcher of lemonade, they can take this off, hand it to somebody and go, okay, now you're in charge of making sure the kids are safe. I love this idea, and this is something parents could even make at home. Sure. Today. Mm -hmm. Great idea. Thanks so much. Thank you. Unfortunately, we can't drown proof our children, but we can make them water safer by using those layers of protection we talked about. And of course, swim lessons are a great way to build their confidence. But remember, nothing replaces a parent's watchful eye around the water. For more information, visit littleotterswim.com.